Hello, if you're a teacher like me uh, and you used to use the BoardWorks PowerPoint, uh, you're probably going to be missing the flash animations. Uh, they were wonderfully su simple. Um, there isn't anything else out there at the moment, but unfortunately flash animations don't work anymore thanks to flash no longer being um, uh, safe. Uh, so it has stopped working, uh, but there is a way around this. Uh, you can use um, Adobe Flash Player 32 uh, and it allows you to play the flash animations. The only thing is it requires a little bit of work at the beginning for you to extract the animations from the PowerPoint. I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, the beauty of this uh, is once you've extracted them uh, from the PowerPoint, this application Flash Player 32 is a standalone. It doesn't require installation. Uh, you can just uh, have it on a USB and whatever computer you plug it into it will work uh, so nice and simple it will work on whatever the things the extraction process does require you to download some things one of the programs you need to download is JPEXS free flash decompiler uh, it's free as it says uh, it does some of the parts of the trick it's not everything another thing you need is uh, you need to download this flash player 32 if you just type in flash player content debugger uh, it is the top option in Google and then depending on, on which type of computer you have uh, you download the flash player projector content debugger and that downloads this like I said you don't need to install this one which makes it really simple uh, and handy if you're uh, working uh, at a computer where you don't have administrator rights sometimes you need to install these things you don't need that and uh, you, the other thing you need is WinZip uh, it's free as well uh, you're supposed to pay, but then you can use the evaluation version, I think, forever. Um, so you need WinZip, the Flash Decompiler, JPEX Flash Decompiler. You need the Flash Player to play it on. Um, so to do this, you get your PowerPoint. And the first thing you need to do is you need to resave your PowerPoint, uh, not as a classic PowerPoint file, but as a um, PPTX file. I've got a special file for this. Uh, so at the moment, it's normally with the flash the default goes to 97 to 2003 presentation but if you save it as the top one pptx and there it is uh, it, when it uh, you go to save it says do you sure you want to do this because you can't do this with the, the macros just say yes uh, and it will do what you want it to do uh, okay so uh, need to shut that down then what I need to do is I've saved all of these into a file. Uh, I've been doing a few of these, and here we go at the top: Electrolysis PPTX. Um, you need to make sure you can see the file extensions. If you go to View, um, there's a little thing, Nay, File Extension. If you make sure that's checked or unchecked, <coughs> and here we go, uh, File Extensions, and I'm going to right click and rename and then you only rename the extension the extension you take away the pptx and you put in zip uh, do you want to change this yes I do and it turns it into a zip file um, and here we go so there's my zip file uh, in the zip file using WinZip and other zip applications uh, you can just select uh, the sections you only want and the bits you want are in here it's got different headings um, in the PowerPoint or PPT there's a file called ActiveX and the the bits you want are the bin uh, the ones that end in dot bin now just for simplicity I'm just going to extract everything and show you how to do this so just uh, double click on that because flash uh, sorry WinZip is is there to give it a moment whilst it works out what I want to do and yes unzip the files to my SWF folder so I'm doing that and it takes very little time for that to occur and I think I have to scroll down to the bottom there is a file electrolysis so it has unzipped the PowerPoint it's broken the PowerPoint down into smaller sections if you open up the PowerPoint file um, there is another folder called ActiveX ActiveX is the one you want and the files named dot bin uh, those are the PowerPoint animation files so the next stage, uh, you can't open them like that. You need to go into the JPEX Free Flash Decompiler. Um, and if I open this, go up one because that was the last one that I did. 
uh, you need to open files, all files. Here are the all files. Uh, there's the new one. And which one was I just doing? Electrolysis, there we go. There's my electrolysis file. Uh, PowerPoint, PPT, ActiveX. And then if I can select here, I can select all of the .bin files. And so just hold control and select the ones that end in .bin and open them. And then it does this. And if you click on the little flash symbol, you can see a little kind of uh, version of the flash file the, it, it's quite glitchy it doesn't work properly like this there is another step to go before you can do this uh, what you need to do is you need to go to save as and it make sure when the file type is to save as SWF files uh, it's also important to uh, make sure um, you give it a good file name because uh, the first few I did I just gave it really nondescript file names and you end up with thousands of uh, um, SWF files and they all have something they all have yeah well you just need them to be descriptive so it makes it easier for you to find does a molten ionic compound conduct electricity save for me once I've saved it stops being so glitchy oh it's still being quite glitchy there let's see uh, let's see if it's worked so if I go to my flash player uh, what was that one called does a molten ionic compound so file open and then we browse Du, du, du. Does a molten ionic compound conduct electricity? Let's open. Okay, and here we go. There is my flash animation working as I would hope. Uh, so it's kind of like having the PowerPoint back again. You can't embed it in the PowerPoint, uh, or at least I don't think you can, but it works just as you would. Uh, so you have your PowerPoint running, you just have to exit PowerPoint, open up the flash player, uh, and then they're back. The flash animations are back. Uh, which is fantastic because there's nothing quite like them exists as an alternative. Um, there we go. I hope that helps. Thanks. Bye.